Good morning, Royals. My name is Andrew. And I'm Cece. This is your daily newscast for November 22nd, 2021. Sophomores and juniors, on November 22nd at 2.15 p.m., two recent graduates of HSC High School and current midshipmen at the Naval Academy will be visiting to speak with current students interested in attending any of the military academies. If you are interested, please email Lisa Bright or your counselor to sign up to attend this session. NHS is providing tutoring for all students during finals week. Tutors will be stationed in Cafe D during Pathways periods on December 15th through 17th from May 30 to 1030. Students who are interested in attending need to request a spot in Pathways. The course in Pathways is called NHS Final Exam Tutoring. Students, please leave a comment in the subject on what they would like to help on. Thanks. Seniors, the uniform application for community scholarships is available now. Complete one uniform online application to apply for any of the many scholarships offered by Fishers and Hamilton County community organizations, as well as the Hamilton Southeastern Education Foundation. Just go to our high school website and click on the link to check it out. Royals, the HSC Democrat Club and the HSC Young Republican Club are working together to gather non-perishable food for feedingteam.org. Please bring in as much food that you can in the collecting bins that'll be in the comments. Any girl interested in participating in track and field in the spring that is not currently in a winter sport should attend a meeting about winter training opportunities on Monday, November 22nd in the LGI from 3.10 to 3.30 p.m. Questions, see Coach Alano in B106 or email her. In national news for this morning, 18-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse has been declared not guilty on all charges Friday afternoon. Rittenhouse faced multiple charges for intentional homicide and reckless endangerment, with the former charge carrying a mandatory life sentence under Wisconsin law. The jury had deliberated for three full days, periodically returning to the courtroom to ask questions of the judge, prosecution, and defense. The city of Kenosha now prepares for potential civil unrest as 500 National Guard troops have been sent to provide security for the local businesses and citizens. That's all we have for you today, Royals. Remember to give thanks to your family and friends over break. Have a great day.